Capricorns, welcome to your weekly love reading, August 22nd to the 31st for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. <sighs> Capricorn, someone's crying, man. Someone's crying. Someone's heart chakra is open and shit. Capricorns, I was just meditating on your energy and I could not meditate that long on it because of all this emotion I'm feeling. So keep in mind, guys, especially for many of these, when I meditate on energy, it's energy I'm picking up in and around you. So it could be coming directly from you or someone that's connected to you energetically. Capricorns, I to be honest with you, I don't even feel like it's yours. I feel like it's someone connected to you, but you could be feeling it because they feel very connected to you. Very connected to you. So you could be getting like little waves of sadness. You could be experiencing like, oh my God, I was like, I wanna cry. Like, why do I wanna cry? Why do I wanna fucking cry? Um, oh, music, I just heard music. Uh, also like pertaining to music as well. Ow, woo, I don't know why my tattoo just started hurting for no reason. Anyway, what the hell? Oh, that's weird. Um, I think some of you are having allergic reactions too so be mindful of that that's weird i don't i don't want to show you anyway doesn't matter so you guys are having some of intense allergic reactions to things that you might you might be it might be new i don't like suddenly i started getting like that like intense like painful itchiness yeah oh my god it almost looks like a circle it almost looks like a circle of like hives are like appearing on my skin yeah some of you are definitely having some allergic reactions careful of bites too like animal bites I don't know why I want to say that, but careful of animal bites. That was very painful. I did not appreciate that. <laughs> Maybe Spirit's trying to distract me. Like, stop crying, stop crying. <laughs> anyway, Capricorns, bringing it back to you guys. I'm going to tell you what I saw um, as far as what I saw when, when I meditated. But guys, someone's really fucking hurting. Like, someone feels really, really defeated. Really defeated when it comes to love and it does feel like a masculine energy i'm just being honest they don't have to be a man but it's masculine energy it feels very sword heavy as well so they could be an air sign not necessarily but it feels like it's like mental pain and it's like it's oh my God. it's like crashing down in the heart space crashing down on the heart space um so what i saw was actually really interesting first i saw just a pool of water this was cool the way spirit showed it to me i saw a pool of water and then it was almost like expanded outwards like not like the pool but like my view of it, like what I could see, like almost like a video camera, like, it, you know, zooming out. Thank you. That's the word I'm looking for, like zooming out. And I saw like, I saw a man actually meditating. Um, so like I said, that it's, I think it's this masculine energy, just very attached to you, Capricorn, very attached to you. Um, or you could be a masculine energy going through this. So just take it as it resonates. Sitting in meditation style, like legs crossed like looking at a pool of water and it's like the pool of water started to grow like as I was watching this started to grow and as the pool of water started to grow I saw like the sky was getting brighter and then I could see mountains behind um behind in the in the distance where am I I'm distracted by the sadness guys I'm distracted by the sadness um so with all of the energy I feel like this masculine energy is doing a lot of self-reflection it fucking hurts man <laughs> it just hurts it's hurting it's painful but it's healing it's like purging and in a way like as this masculine energy is going through self-reflection purging a lot crying a lot healing a lot it's almost like their um, their capacity for love is growing it's like love is growing the more they're purging the more they're healing love is growing and that's very indicative of what happens when we heal we make space for love we do when we start to heal, right? But then when the mountains became illuminated, it's almost like, okay, I've done the self-reflecting work. I'm doing the healing. I'm growing with love. I'm filling up with more love. It's like the obstacles are being illuminated because mountains are about obstacles. Just the spiritual meaning of mountains, they're obstacles. And that was being illuminated. It's almost like the obstacles to happiness, like a block. It's And like, it, yeah, that's, yeah, that's exactly how this is. It's almost like a masculine energy the more they heal, the more introspective they're getting, the more they're purging, the more they're feeling love, 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 love for either you or just in general, having a lot more self-love for themselves. And they could see happiness. Like, damn, happiness is actually possible. I think there's a masculine energy that never thought they could actually be happy. Oh man, happiness is just right over there, right over those goddamn mountains, right over those goddamn obstacles. It's almost like the more they heal, the more they come, they fill with love. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, the, more, the more they fill with love, the more they can see how happiness is so tangible, the more they feel blocked off from it.
which is really fascinating to me. The more they heal, the more they feel blocked off, which is very like paradoxical. So Cappies, let's get into this. I did also get one little other message that didn't feel like it, it didn't feel like it was connected to the masculine. It actually felt like it was connected to more my feminine energies. And I heard money, honey. <laughs> I like, I was like, oh, that's, that's a cool little fun message. So it feels like there's some feminine energies that are really kind of enjoying um, their career, their money, their materials, feeling really good, while a masculine energy is like, oh, shit, in the feels. We'll just say in the feels, in the feels. So let's go ahead and see what messages we get for you guys. Keep in mind that if you're new to tarot or new to my channel, these are very general messages. Not all messages will resonate with everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So sometimes it's going to be you and sometimes it won't be. So if this isn't your week, that's okay. That message just wasn't for you. It was for someone else. Um, no need to throw any hate or shade. <laughs> it just wasn't for you. There are plenty of readers on YouTube. Please check them out if I am not tapping into your specific energy, okay? Also, guys, keep in mind, this is energy work. I read energy. Energy is fluid. It's not fixed. It's not linear. So yes, the messages can be reversed. They can be vice versa if it's resonating, but the roles are just reversed. That's okay. It's still your story if it's hitting home with you, okay? Also, guys, gender does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Uh, so don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Just as I was already saying, with like masculine energy, could still be a female, right? Um, also, guys, don't get hung up on the fact that I'm calling signs out. I'm calling out signs for informative purposes. It's energy that's being harnessed. We can all harness all zodiac sign energy anytime we need to. So regardless of what signs come out in this reading today, it can still, still apply to your person even if they're not that particular sign or it can apply to you, even though, you know, it's like maybe it'll show up as Pisces and it can still be you, you know? All right, let's get it going. Any messages for Capricorn? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. Okay. Any messages for Capricorn? Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. <clears throat> I just heard sitting in darkness. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I just heard sitting in darkness. I think it pertains to this masculine energy. It almost feels like sitting in ignorance more than darkness, but my guide said darkness. And that could just be their healing process. You know, the, maybe they're in a lot of dark energy. When we heal, we have to be in dark energy because dark energy is destructive. It helps to destroy the things that need to be purged and gotten rid of so that you can return back to the light to be illuminated, right? Um, also keep in mind, we all have dark energy. No one is just pure light and no one's pure darkness either. Um, we need both. We need both. Nine of Swords. I like seeing that. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Oh, why would that focus? There we go. Oh, almost. Maybe. Maybe not. There we go. <laughs> Nine of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. This is incoming communication, guys. Incoming communication. It feels quick, though. <sighs> My solar just jumped. Uh, someone's <laughs> I was like, I didn't like that. Sorry, I didn't like that energy. Made me a little nauseous, actually. Made me a little queasy. <clears throat> This is incoming communication. Someone's feeling very confident. They got a fire in their belly, a major fire in their belly, and they're coming in quick here. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. Let's see here. Wow. Five of Pentacles. I feel like it's this masculine energy. As energy. Can't talk today. <laughs> Taurian energy here with that Five of Pentacles. And then we also have, oh, oh my God. Wow, I can't believe what I'm looking at. Ace of Cups with the Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Ace of Pentacles with the King of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. I just, I just heard fire as well. You can be dealing with the fire sign. You can have fire in your chart. Not necessarily. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, and the frickin' Tower, man. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars influence. I'm overwhelmed by this energy that this masculine is bringing into your energy field. I just gotta be honest. I'm very overwhelmed by it. Capric my feminine Capricorns, I think you're going to be very overwhelmed by it as well. Because this is about love. It's like waves of love 
and words. It's just like, I'm, I just feel like I'm getting bombarded like by tidal waves of energy from this person. I think whoever this is, my feminines, um, they have really strong ass energy, strong ass energy. And I feel like it's almost like they're breaking out. They're breaking out from this energy of feeling alone, feeling isolated. I just heard prison. Oh, I hope that no one's breaking out of prison for you. Oh, shit. I hope that's not happening. Um, but someone feels like they've been very imprisoned, very alone, very down, down in the darkness, down in the darkness. And they're like, they're breaking out with like vengeance and not anger. It's just like, it's just intense. And again, I'm getting that fire in the belly kind of energy. Ace of Cups with Eight of, eight of Cups in reverse. This is a return. This is definitely a return to something that was once left behind. This person feels left behind. Whether you left them behind or they left you behind, they feel left behind, regardless of who did the leaving. But this is a return of it with the Ace of Cups. There is a hell of a lot of, huh, there's a hell of a lot of love from this person. This person has a lot of love and that pool expanded. I saw that pool expanding. There's a lot of love from this person, from, from this person. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles with King of Cups in reverse. The King of Cups in reverse worries me a little bit. Because King of Cups in Reverse is typically associated with like emotional detachment. But this is like, I feel outpouring. Oh, it's lack of control. It's lack of control. This person cannot control their emotions right now. They can't control the love they feel. They, they can't. Like they can't contain themselves. They, oh my God. I'm, it's actually making me hot. <laughs> Not in a sexy way, just overwhelmed. Uh, they can't control themselves. They can't control themselves. They have so much love that they is just bursting. They're bursting at the seams to talk, to break out of their darkness, because there's just so much goddamn love in their heart, and it just has to come out. And it like it just has to come out. Like that's how they're going to be, feminines. And Ace of Pentacles, they might come with a gift. Like so, I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit of a gift, like something tangible, something, something with the. I don't know why I'm getting hands. I feel yeah. I'm like, <laughs> they might come with something in hand here feminines because they're just outpouring of love right now I like it almost makes me want to cry <laughs> almost makes me want to cry they're probably gonna cry just be prepared for that this person doesn't plan on crying but they might cry and then we have this ten of pentacles in reverse and the tower this energy is very interesting because I feel like their approach is bringing a tower moment wait yeah I feel like their approach is bringing a tower moment this ten of pentacles in reverse feels like a foundation has already been broken Okay, yeah, because there was a leaving of some sort. Whoever did the leaving, it doesn't really matter. But whoever did the leaving really kind of destroyed a really awesome little foundation. For some, it was a foundation in the work. So this could be someone that you were married to, lived with, um, with for you could have been with this person for many years. But it also could have been something in the making where it's like, you're like, oh, God, I know I felt this energy before, Cappies. I know I felt this energy before. With earth, with earth signs, definitely, but I think other signs as well. So this is probably going to hit home with some of you who've hit home with this t same message before. Um, where some of you, it was supposed to be a Ten of Pentacles. Like you were supposed to have like long haul stability, something that you two built together. This could also be work. Someone could have lost their job. Someone could have just flat out lost their job at a Ten of Pentacles down to the Five of Pentacles, which is, I don't like to say, I don't like the word poverty, but that's the word they're giving me. Um Anyway, so there was a loss of the foundation, and now they're bringing in the tower. Now they're bringing in this tower with this communication, this wanting to return of love, wanting, coming with a gift in hand. Oh, God. Some of you are getting a proposal from this person. Some of you are getting a proposal from this person. I don't know why that bothers me. It's, oh, because it bothers some of you. It bothers some of you. Um, but either way, they want a new start. They want a new start, Capricorns. We don't have all the cards out yet. Let's see what other cards we can get out here. Any other messages for Capricorns? Any other messages for Capricorns? <sighs> regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Capricorns regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? This card really wants to come out. Okay, so now we've got, oh my, Seven of Cups, Scorpionic Energy with a Queen of Cups, <laughs> Cancerian Energy, what did I just hear? I just heard Spirit has a sense of humor. 
I don't know why I just heard that, but that's some of you are going to resonate with that. Oh, some of you guys are laughing. Okay, there you go. Uh, Cancerian energy. Uh, could also be Pisces or Scorpio with the Five of Swords in reverse, a Venus and Aquarian energy. We have a true pair. Got a true pair, people. At the very least, soulmates, but it's just to, um, really hitting home how compatible you two are. How compatible you two are. What's interesting to me, it's like, Cappies, I feel like this is more your energy, even though it's cancer, which is normally your partner. So again, take it as it resonates. But for the sake of the reading and not to confuse anybody, Cappies, I'm going to consider you to the Queen of Cups here. If it's if it's vice versa, switch it up, right? Cappies, it looks like you're in a position with a lot of options right now. You've got a lot of options in front of you. Um, you could have a lot of suitors. You could just be getting a lot of attention. Five of Swords in reverse, though, is forgiveness here. Do you forgive? Do you not forgive? Do you take this person's offer? Do you not take this person's offer? Right now, your hand's over that cup, <laughs> which is like, bloop, I'm not giving you my cup yet. Don't, don't, don't try to pour into my cup yet. It's like, don't come swooping in and try to pour into my cup like right away, like nothing happened. Um, but Five of Swords in verse tells me that you will be practicing some forgiveness, that you will be practicing some forgiveness here. I really feel that strongly because like, honestly, oh, shit. There's a lot of love here, guys. I can feel it. There's a lot of freaking love here. A lot. Both of you want this. Capricorns, both of you definitely want this. But queens, you might be playing a little hard to get. You might be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You might know that I want you. <laughs> you can hand over the cup. Doesn't mean you can get me. You know, it feels a little bit like that. It feels a little bit like that. Overall energy, though, ooh. I don't like this. Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. I feel a very jealous energy here. Crowning your reading. I do not like this. What's underneath here? Strength in reverse. And then we've got... Wow. It's the Seven of Wands and it jumped out of my hand. Hold on a second, guys. <laughs> and Seven of Wands. Leo energy. Okay. Now I see the block. The block. The mountain. The mountain... <laughs> that this masculine energy, that this King of Cups slash Knight of Swords has to deal with. This is another person, Capricorn. This is another person who's very defensive and I feel like standing in their way. Standing in their way. Um, strength in reverse is Leo energy. Seven of Wands is more Leo energy. There's a lot of fire, a lot of fire. They could be a fire sign, not necessarily. They could have fire in their chart. Again, not necessarily. They're tapping into major fire energy in a very negative way. This is definitely a block for them. This is a block that they have to get past in order to come to you, okay? Very jealous. Hateful. I just heard hateful. <sighs> Whoa, that was weird. That was really weird. Um, they showed me this card upright. Oh, hold on. Focus, please, maybe. This card doesn't want to focus. Hold on. There we go. They showed me this card upright, but like, like she had fangs. I know, I didn't really like that. Oh, I just heard succubus. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are we really going there, spirit? We're really going there. Okay. This is not for everybody. I just am the messenger and I just got to give what I get. This person, this person's got some attachments, some spiritual negative attachments. I don't talk about this often because I know it doesn't affect, a, it doesn't affect a lot of you but it's affecting your king it's affecting your king it's affecting your your king slash knight of swords here okay this person is having a really hard time getting away from this this jesus i can't even talk your king of cups is having a hard time getting away from this person because they have some sexual attachments okay and what i mean by that is like succubus kind of energy um for those who don't know what that is please look it up it's basically like a I don't like the word demon. I don't like that word because it's an energy. It's a sexual, devilish, codependent energy. And your king of cups was involved with this person. And that's why it was. it's really hard for them to get away. That's why it's really hard for them to get away. They've been exposed to their energy, their attachment, that succubus energy. Succubus basically sucks energy from someone through sex in a sexual, spiritual way. Okay. Um, that's only going to be for a couple of you, but they're, and it, that's so funny. I said prison and the darkness. They're breaking away from it. They're running. I just heard for life. They're running for life. Wow. 
Guys, I'm going to talk about this a little bit. I haven't talked about it that much before in the past, but it clearly it applies here for some of you. This is one of the reasons why it's so careful that it's so careful, why you should be so careful in who you sleep with. Because there is such a thing as like sexually transmitted spiritual energy that is could be perceived as disease. When you sleep with someone, your sacral energies become engaged, okay? They in, they exchange energy. So if your person's got some shit going on in their life, dysfunctions, um, some weird ass attachments, some weird ass spiritual attachments, any of their issues, any of their energetic imbalances, emotional imbalances gets passed on to you. Okay. It does. Cause you're exchanging energy. And after you sleep with someone, you might even feel a little different energetically. You might even feel that some, some people don't pick up on it at all, but if you're constantly sleeping with people or one person like that, that becomes so ingrained in your energy and your aura field. And that is just shit that you don't need. Another reason to be very careful in who you sleep with. Capricorns, right? 20 minutes. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so that is kind of what's going on here for, for some of you. So let's go ahead and look at this person. They're coming in, like I said, breaking away. <laughs> breaking away from their darkness. Breaking away from prison. Um, I don't even... Actually, yeah. Let's not clarify those because it's very obvious what's happening here, right? Return of love. Return of love, return of a love offer, spilling of emotion, wanting to give you something, wanting that second chance. This is what I'm more interested in. This Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Tower. They might have been married to this person. They might have been living with this person. I'm hearing caught up. They were caught up. That damn succubus energy, man. They were caught up. You know what? I might put a link down here for um, one of Nubian News' videos. I think it applies here, actually. Um, I know not a, lot of, not a lot of my subs watch her. I freaking love her. I fr By the way, Nubian, if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> um, the way she speaks is so passionate. I love the way she speaks. Not everyone jives with her, just like not everyone jives with me, you know? Um, but she speaks on some serious truth. So I might put a link down here. But anyway, all caught up with this person. So they could have had to go through a divorce to get out of this, which probably took a long time. I'm getting that like poverty kind of feel a little bit. Um, yeah, just caught up, just caught up. But let's look at this tower. Let's look at this tower and then we'll get into your energy, Cappies. I'm gonna use Rider Weight to clarify. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. Ooh, I just heard blood dry. Shit. This Queen of Wands could have been involved with your king just for money purposes. Sign about the tower. Yeah, my guys are saying, yep, 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 yep. Wow. Sign about the tower for Capricorns regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. I heard trance. I just heard trance. Tell me about the tower for Capricorn regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. You know, and by the way, if you're in that situation where it's like there's a succubus kind of feel going on here and you want to take this person back, because I can tell there's a lot of love between the two of you, please be very careful, excuse me, of sleeping with them right away. Let them clear their energy up. Get that shit out of their energy field, out of their sacral, out of their sacral. Tell me about the tower for Capricorn regarding love. Ooh, full in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because this is a Uranus card. See what else comes out here. It's about taking a leap of faith, but I feel fear behind this. I feel fear behind this. Tell me about the tower. Don't want to make the same mistake is what I just heard. Tell me about the tower for Capricorn regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Time with the tower for Capricorn regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Two of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like this person, Cap Capricorn, I feel like this king really has loved you for a while, quite a while, but I do feel like they were juggling a little bit and with you and this Queen of Wands and they had to break away and this is them breaking away and some might have lost a lot of money. Some might have even lost their place of living because they were like, I, I got to stop juggling because I'm not, I, I, this is, I, this is wrong. I can't be doing this. I can't be doing this. It was a risk, but it, it feels very necessary. It feels very necessary. 
Wow. Yeah. Star in reverse, lost blessing. Just her lost blessing. Aquarian energy. Major need for healing as well. Yeah, they feel like they lost their blessing, which is basically you, Caps. They feel like they lost their blessing, which which is you. Oh my God. Page of Cups in reverse and Six of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be karmic soulmate past life energy. This is deceit. Deceit. They feel deceived by this Queen of Wands. They feel very deceived by this Queen of Wands. Like, damn, I lost my blessing because I bought into this Queen of Wands trance, their succubus energy, lust, take, you know, fit in whatever word you want. This Queen of Wands had a very strong hold on your king here. Um, and it was through emotional deceit. It was through emotional deceit. And they feel like they lost their blessing because of it as a consequence. Time about the tower for Capricorn. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Time about the tower for Capricorn. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Time about the tower for the partner of Capricorn. Jesus, page of, cu page of, page of cups. Page of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, greed. Greed, greed, greed. Yeah, honestly, guys, this Queen of Wands was dealing with your king for money purposes. For money purposes, for sure. Money purposes, for sex, just to get a hold on them. Just to get a hold on them. Some were dealing with that succubus energy as well. Overall energy for the tower, king of wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or water. So this is what's really interesting to me. Because this little succubus energy person, no shade to this person. I'm just, you know, I'm just calling what I get. I'm just the messenger. They're definitely soulmates. I picked up on this for someone else too. It, actually, it, I think Taurus had something very similar to this. Very similar to this. Um, they're soulmates. Sometimes soulmates are, I said, the, I, I said this exactly. I said this exactly today in one of my readings. Sorry, I'm like having deja vu. Um, maybe I'm having a matrix moment. I don't know. Anyway, cappies. These two people are soulmates, but sometimes that just happens to teach a lesson and this person's learned a lesson. I mean, they even said it. I'm not making that mistake again, right? I'm not making that mistake again. But you guys are a true pair as well. You guys are a true pair as well. Um, underneath that, though, we do have the world. I love seeing that. Fixed energy. So Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, or Joel's Capricorn, a whole new cycle. Starting a whole new cycle here. The fact that they're in reverse, though, e. The fact they're in reverse tells me that they are a little afraid to take action on this, but they're going to. Quite clearly, they're going to. They can't contain themselves. Um, I'm also getting a lot of anger behind this energy as well. And I feel like it's because the... Oh, the stirring. Okay. This Queen of Wands, whoever they are to this King of Wands, to your king. I'll say your king because they're your king. They're your king. They love you. They love you to death. Um, this person loved to push your king's buttons. It feels like a very toxic relationship. And it feels almost mutual, like, I'll push your buttons, I'll push your buttons, I'll push your buttons, I'll push your buttons. It's like, who could push who further? Yeah, wow. Who could push who for, who, who could push who further? And your king's had enough. Your king's had enough. They realize the shit they've been in. They realize, if I want to get to my Capricorn, my Queen of Cups, I, I got to get past this obstacle. I got to break out. <laughs> I got to break out of prison. <laughs> I got to break out of prison. I got to go where my heart is. I got to go to the person I love and just pour out my heart because I can't control myself anymore. Some, and honest to God, some of them might even be ballsy enough to propose to you. I say ballsy because that is a ballsy move. That's a pretty ballsy move. And Capricorns, you're just going to be like, what? <laughs> you're going to be like, wait, wait, wait. I've got a lot of options. And you're like, you're trying to you're just coming in like balls to the wall with it. And like I said, your hand's over it. You're deciding if you want to forgive them or not. You're deciding if you want to take them back or not. Um, so let's go ahead and look at your energy here. Yeah, let's look at your energy. I'm kind of curious about your seven of cups. Yeah, I am. I am curious. Let's, let's use Gilded Tarot to clarify. Tell me about seven of cups for Capricorn. Regarding love. I heard inopportune time, inopportune time. Capricorns are my queen of cups. Um, you might feel like they're coming in at the worst possible time. You might have like just started falling for someone or like you could have just met a couple people that you really like or things are just going so well that it's like, shit, this could really interrupt my life. Sometimes, honestly, guys, sometimes love happens in the most oppor inopportune times. It never happens when you want it to happen, I find. Play about seven of cups. 
for Capricorn regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Talking about the Seven of Cups. Oh, wow. Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Queens, what did I say? Money, honey. <laughs> you guys are doing really well. You guys are doing really good for yourself. And I think a lot of you are kind of thinking about the next step before this person comes in. I think a lot of you are thinking like, all right, I've built up my life pretty good. I, I do want to settle down. I want to settle down with someone who's my match, someone who's my equal, someone who's healthy, someone who could really add to my pentacle bounty, right? You, I think you guys are thinking about that. And I think you guys do have suitors right now, or at least you're, you're looking at options. You're looking at options. Fit the bill. I just heard fit the bill. Tell me about seven of cups for Capricorn regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Talking about Seven of Cups for Capricorn. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Uh, Capricorn energy. I heard Virgo. So maybe you're dealing with Virgo. You could have Virgo in your chart. Um, but Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're, at, you're struggling to decide, Caps. You're struggling to decide. You don't want to juggle people either. So if you're dating multiple people, it is kind of coming down to that crunch mode of like, all right, I've gone on a date or two with this many people. It's time to kind of narrow this down. Tell me about Seven of Cups. Oh, Empress. I like seeing that. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. This is you showing up here, Cappies, in very full on feminine power. Even if you're a man, you know, just tapped into your feminine energy. Feeling on top of the world about this. You know you're an Empress. You know you're an Empress. And which is why it's like you don't want to make this decision lightly. You're taking it very serious. Because you're a high quality and you're only going to accept high quality. You work, too, you work too hard. You worked too hard to get to where you are to just settle. Tell me about Seven of Cups. Tell me about Seven of Cups for Capricorn regarding love. August 20, 22nd to the 31st. We got two more cards out here face down so I can't see them. Tell me about Seven of Cups for Capricorn regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Let's see here. Oh my, this is interesting. We have a page of cups in reverse and a queen of swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water. Why do I feel like there's a whole other person entering this read? I don't like this queen of swords energy. It like, it feels, it feels like a whole new addition to this reading. We have a queen of wands who we established was involved with your king. And they're breaking away, right? Succubus energy. Who is this Queen of Swords? Because with this Queen of Swords, there's there's emotional deceit attached to this person. Emotional immaturity attached to that person. Overall energy for the Seven of Cups, we have the Devil. Capricorn energy. I actually feel like it was just you showing up in your own reading, Capricorn. I feel very strongly about that. Because we also have Nine of Cups underneath that. Um... Uh, Piscean energy, wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment. Because you're focused on your wish fulfillment. You're in your full power. Don't, and guys, I feel some of you like, it's devil, it's the devil. Devil's not inherently negative. It's how you use it. Devil is actually perfectly balanced in dark energy and light energy. Um, that's how it can be read. And I definitely feel it's just you showing up in your reading, looking for your wish fulfillment, because you're looking at your options and you want to be happy. But you're struggling to decide because you are thinking about the long term. You are thinking about the long term and who fits the bill for that. But this energy, man, I don't like this. I don't like this energy. We're going to look into this Queen of Swords. Um, I'm tempted to use the Kipper deck. Yeah, let's use the Kipper deck here. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Universe. Who's this Queen of Swords? Who is this Queen of Swords? This feels like a total like entry out of left field in the third act. You know what I mean? It was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's that character? Tell me about Queen of Swords in reverse. Is this a mother? Oh, Capricorns. I don't know how many cards out here yet. My Queen of Cups, be very careful. Some of your mothers might try to deceive you in this situation. They might leave you, they might give you bad advice. It might just be as benign as giving you bad advice. I'm feeling that for some of you. Tell me about the Queen of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Swords in reverse. Thoughts. 16 breaking down to a 7. Okay. 
Doesn't tell me too much yet. Tell me, tell me more about who this Queen of Swords is. Who's this Queen of Swords? Who's this Queen of Swords to the Empress? Who is this Queen of Swords to the Empress? Coffin, 19 cyclical energy. Thoughts about ending something. Thoughts about closing something. That's coming from the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is thinking about how can I end something? Yeah, for some of you, this is your own mother. Like, seriously getting in the way, Queen of Cups slash Empresses. Keep that in mind. Hold on. Oh, yeah. This I, I'm feeling strongly this is like a mother energy. Because now we have Privileged Lady with a 12, breaking down to a 3. This Queen of Swords, whoever they are, Empresses, this is someone around you. My Empresses, my Queen of Cups a feminine energy around you. They could be a man or a woman, but it has strong like divorcee energy, strong divor divorcee, but not necessarily, but just like a very older kind of motherly energy. And look, how can I end this? How can I end this for the privileged lady? Privileged lady is you. That is a very strong empress energy, okay? This queen of swords, whoever they are to you, my feminine, my feminine energies, they don't want, they, they're trying to convince you to not go for this offer. But like I said, guys, I mean, you're the masters of your own life. You decide what you want to do with this king, but this king really loves you and you really love this king. No doubt. There's no doubt there. But there's definitely a queen of swords energy that does not want you to take this offer. Trying to get in your way. Trying to deceive you. Wait, is it more than just the offer? I just heard confuse. Okay, thank you. Empresses. You need to figure out who this Queen of Swords is because whoever this Queen of Swords is, they're not only trying to stop you from taking this offer from the king, they're also trying to stop you from your Ten of Pentacles for making the right decision. They're trying to confuse you. Be very mindful who you get advice. Actually, I wouldn't try to get advice from anybody. <laughs> Capricorns, I would try really hard to not take advice from anybody during this time because um, you got someone around you, a friend, a mother... <laughs> a relative, a coworker, who who really doesn't want you to be successful, who doesn't want you to have that happy, healthy relationship, because this person doesn't have that. This person never had that. This person never had that kind of healthy relationship where it was stable and abundant and, you know, very much bringing to the table to get that ton of pentacles. This person never had that. So be mindful of that. They are trying to deceive you. They're trying to figure out how they can end your blessings. Be very mindful, guys. Let's see what else we got here. Tell me more about who this Queen of Swords is. Who is this Queen of Swords? God, I got a lot of people in your reading, Capricorn. Who is this Queen of Swords to the Empress? Show me more about this Queen of Swords. Whoa. Okay, got a bunch that just came out. Real. <gasps> it's someone trying to get in the middle of shit. Look at this. Judication, 30 breaking down to a three, false person and thief. Mm -hmm. Judication is a mediation energy. Someone who basically is trying to get into between two parties. And for usually it's to actually mend a situation, but this is a meddling energy. This is a meddling energy. For some, this queen of swords could actually be the mother of the king. So keep that in mind. Wow, this poor king. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for them. So to paraphrase, you have a king who loves you deeply. Um, it's a return of them. So there was some sort of relationship of some kind, friendship or more, um, beforehand. They got in entangled into a queen of wands energy who has a succubus energy attached to them. And it became a block for them. And they, as they were healing, being introspective, realizing how much they love you, they realize, shit, this is someone I got to get rid of. This is a block I have to figure out a way to get past. So let me try to get past this block. Let me break out. Let me break out of prison. Literally, I heard that, right? Let me break out of prison, have my outpouring of love, my outpouring of love and gift. For some of you, you're getting a gift here to my queen, to my queen who like, and like I said, Capricorns, I definitely feel like this is you who, again, I feel like you're forgiving them. I feel like you are forgiving them. And you are already thinking about your Ten of Pentacles. You're already thinking about who you want to spend your life with, how you want to spend the rest of your life, and the, what kind of person would fit that bill. And some of you are dating and have options. You have someone who doesn't want you to have these blessings. You have someone in your field, feminines, 
who doesn't want you to have that healthy, balanced relationship because they never got that. And for some, that's your own mother. A lot of you, that could be your relatives or a jealous friend of yours. And for some, it's this king's mother. Okay, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. They're trying to figure out how can I end this? How can I end this for the empress? How can I end this? How can I get myself involved in this to make sure they lose it? Thief is a loss energy. You got four people here, <laughs> Capricorn, <laughs> including yourself. Oh, and oh my God, how did I forget this? An overall, look at this. On the bottom, we have community. <gasps> oh, and main female. Main female. Yeah, yeah, guys, seriously, like I said, you're coming across as a privileged lady. This is another feminine energy. This is another feminine energy trying to stop this, trying to cause confusion because they don't think you deserve it. They don't want you to have it because they never had it. Because they never had it. Community can be family. It can be social circle. It can even be social media. It can even be social media. Oh, some of you just said, just asked me if it could be this energy. I feel strongly it's not, but it could be. And I only say it could be because someone with this kind of energy is not exactly healthy. And these two feel very different. These two feel very different. So this could be someone that is very imbalanced and can like, what's the word I'm looking for? turn on a personality for any kind of situation because these two energies feel so different to me. Um, but yes, it could be that. It could be that. So be mindful. Jesus, let's get some advice, Caps. First of all, like I said, do not get any advice from anybody about this person and who to spend your life with. That's between you and your guides, okay? That's between you and spirit because you don't need anybody fucking this up for you because there's a lot of love here. And, and again, you don't have to take this person back, but honestly, they really love you. And I know you love them. I know you love them. And you guys are a true pair here, okay? Bye. Oh, no way. Fuck. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting annoyed with this. these people. With these people. For some of you, there's only for like a couple of you or a handful of you. This is the ex of your king, right? That succubus energy we're picking up on. And this is like their mother and they're in cahoots together to control your king. That's a crazy ass family situation. All right, keep it going. Man, this couldn't be clearer. Any other advi any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? People, man. Any advice for my Capricorns? Regarding the spread, when this person comes in, don't tell anybody. You know what? My kings are watching and my queen of cups, my king and queen of cups. Don't tell anybody about this. Keep it all under wraps because clearly there is at least two people that don't want, don't want you two to be together. And empresses, there's at least one person who doesn't want you to have what you deserve, okay? Just because they didn't get it. Don't tell anybody. Keep it to yourself, all right? except for spirit guides, but they already know. <laughs> Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any, what do I even call this? Oh, I don't even know what to name this reading. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? 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 Let's see here. Oh, very nice. I love it. Antelope spirit. Life is speeding up with the energy of two and white raven spirit. Trust in magic. Energy of 66. I actually like this advice for the king. Oh. Take that as confirmation. Um, I feel like this is advice for the king. Actually, okay. Actually, no, I'll say both. I'll say both of you because this king's rushing and I feel a major rush, a run, a swift move 
And again, it feels like an escape. It really does feel like a breaking away, breaking out, escaping, escaping. And trusting in magic is basically like, hey, trust in what we're giving you. Trust in the opportunity that's being provided here and trust in your own intuition that, hey, miracles can happen. Miracles can truly happen. Manifestation can happen. If you've been trying to manifest this king back into your life, well, here they are. Here they are. It's also advice for the king to say like, hey, believe that this queen will forgive you. Believe that this queen will accept you and believe that you can escape into something that's truly loving. Any advice from a Capricorn regarding this spread? Man, I, I really feel for this king because like for some of you, this king's own mother is against them. And this person that just like sucked them in is against them. And others, they're working together. I'm like, I can't get over that. Working together. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Like actively thinking how they can end this shit. Actively thinking how they can stop you from your healthy abundant loving relationship that's just like sick any advice from my capricorns regarding this oh yeah we got the otter <laughs> otter spirit oh you were never alone 42 breaking down to a six you guys know this card everyone knows this card to a t by now there's my two of cups my lovers six of cups yummy energy i've got your back i love you no matter what and i'll never stop loving you what did I say? It's like you two are a true pair. You two are a true pair. And whatever this king had with his queen was very toxic. Very toxic. It is just for the wrong reasons. Oh, yeah, guys. Dove spirit. Be peace. 21 breaking down to a three. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not going to cry. I just heard take me in your arms. Oh, my God. That's like, that's actually for like wanting me. Like, okay, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. This is a very peaceful union. It, it's going to bring, bring oh, Jesus, it's going to bring peace. Sorry, I just made a second video. I know some of you will struggle with that, that it will bring peace to both of you, but it will. It's like, and Dove is a very divine energy. It's a divine union. For some of you, this is a divine union. It's a spiritual union. It's healthy. It's loving. Oh my God. It's like, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Any advice for my Capricorns? regarding this spread oh very nice wombat spirit be at home 68 that breaks down to a five so change I, yeah i feel like there's actually changing of home going on here especially that we had that ten of pentacles like i said for some they actually lost their place of living your king lost their place of living because they're coming oh my god stop it spirit they just said because they're coming home oh my god god damn it because the king is coming home to where they belong, to a place of peace, a place of love, a place of comfort, to where they belong. They're coming home. The king's coming home. And these two buttholes, I like, <laughs> I can't, I can't even pick these freaking cards up. And these two buttholes want to stop it. They want to stop that. Well, that's too goddamn bad. <laughs> Overall energy, Bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery. I just heard surprise with the energy of eight. Abundance, success, prosperity underneath that. I'm not surprised that we heard surprise because we also have coyote spirit. Trust in divine detour. 16 breaking down to a seven. A seven to the eight. Progression energy. Coyote throws the curveballs. Coyotes know the blueprint. They know the grand design. They know the destinies at play. And they know what curveballs to throw to not only keep you on your toes and throw surprises your way, um, but to also get you to where you need to be. This is a curveball, my queen of cups slash empresses for you because it's supposed to happen and it is a surprise. Miracles can happen. I just heard miracles can happen. Oh my God. Sorry, I just, I gotta show you this energy again because the king's coming home. You're, you're, you're each other's home, honestly. Like I said, there's so much love here. Queens, you already know you want this person. You already know. You already know. And you got these two people manipulating shit, trying to stop this. You can't stop this. You can't stop this. It's too divine. You got two serious spiritual cards here. Two very serious spiritual cards. You can't stop this. Wow. 
Capricorns, like I said, keep this a secret. When this person comes back, you keep this a secret. You don't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> don't tell anybody, not a soul. And same with the king. Do not tell anybody that you're going to be talking to this queen. Don't tell anybody. You never know who these people are for you or that if there are more, there could be more people, you know, who are who like don't want this to happen. And Empress says, like I said, be careful. Like they're, they're, I'm feeling strong mother energy for either side. Could even be both sides. Maybe both of your mothers don't want this to happen. You know, so just be careful, okay? All right, guys, I hope, Jesus, what a way to end the day. Um, I hope you guys found this insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go and check out Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Namaste.